This is a brownfield. Hi, I'm Rick Dancer. I'm Andres Herrera. We had no idea what a brownfield was until we started doing this story and looked into it. Brownfields are very important to our community. Here's why. If Eugene, Springfield, and Lane County are going to create the best place for future generations to live and thrive, recycling old commercial and industrial sites will be an important component. There are sites throughout the region that are underused and could be very valuable to all of us. A project is underway to identify brownfields in Lane County. In order for this community to grow economically, we have to have uh, uh, sites that, that people can build on and that jobs can be located on, and we're really limited. This is a brownfield. A brownfield is a property that um, is uh, compromised by either real or perceived environmental contamination. Right now, it's unclear how many reusable brownfields are out there. Most of these brownfields are abandoned or underutilized, but have huge potential for reuse. Brownfields could have downsides for property owners. And the fear from a property owner obviously is cost and liability. What, it, what is the cost of cleaning it up and what is my liability in the case that some of that con contamination may have creeped over into an adjacent property? A nearly $700,000 grant from the Environmental Protection Agency is the first step in a pilot program that is underway. Eugene, Springfield, and Lane County are working together on this project. The biggest obstacle we have is really going to be the working with the private property owners. There's a lot of perceptions that are somewhat negative when you start identifying and talking about brownfields and contamination. We'll be building a new brew house and fermentation space and cellar area which will create the beer which will then pipe back across to our existing brewery for packaging. Ninkasi Brewery is in the process of redeveloping a brownfield near its Whitaker plant. This building will be torn down, we'll maintain uh, a truck access here, but basically all of the lot and building area that currently exists will be turned into a uh, facility, an enclosed facility for producing more beer. An environmental study shows some contamination on the property. A lot of it has to do with our desire to be in this neighborhood, um, our desire to use this property in conjunction with our existing location and really um, to turn something that, you know, maybe wouldn't have another use otherwise into a more productive site. Sequential fuel is built on what used to be a brownfield. It took years and plenty of planning, money, and cooperation between local agencies and the Department of Environmental Quality to make this property what it is today. Generally, brownfields are going to be in urban areas. They're going to be um, related to neighborhoods. Um, you know, so they're areas that we drive by every day that are a part of our communities. And a lot of times, because they're brownfields, um, that means nobody wants to touch them, nobody wants to get involved with them. Lane County partnered with Sequential Fuel to assist in the process and redevelopment of this site. Neighbors should be informed and involved in this process. So getting that site back up into productive use for the community also means it's generating tax income uh, for the local government, which is important. Really what we're doing is recycling uh, farmer commercial and industrial land, and that fits in perfectly with what, what, what this region is all about. The first phase of this project is to identify brownfields. What are you not doing with this project? Uh, we are not uh, whistleblowing. We're not uh, uh, trying to find you know property owners and find them or anything like that. We're really this is really a uh, a project where we're looking to stimulate some economic development activity, create jobs, add value to properties that right now don't have a lot of value, don't have a lot of taxable value. They aren't really contributing to the community in that they're either they're either vacant or underutilized. Once brownfields are identified and assessed, the next phase of the project would be to try to find funding for cleanup. What's exciting about this is not only that there's all this job creation development potential, but to see something that's not being, that's not making a contribution to the community turned into something that is, is a very exciting prospect. Sequential says it's worth it. The two choices are embrace it, uh, make it a positive change agent, uh, and do everything that that entails, or, or don't, and it's only going to get worse. So you may have a question. There's a phone number and a website you can visit for more information. 